What is good? Beautiful people checking in for another daily reminder is what I'm going to call them because the daily reminders and they remind me to remain positive, optimistic, happy, and to remain disciplined, focused on you know, working towards my goals. So this episode is revolving around fear and winning. So here we go. So I want to start this one off with um, a little quote by Bobby Knight. So he was a college basketball coach for a very long time, had a very um, established and successful career. And he has some wisdom with, with this quote. So I want to start it off um, with something he said regarding winning and preparing to win. So his quote goes something like this. The will to win is not nearly as important as the will to prepare to win. Everyone wants to win, but not everyone wants to prepare to win. Preparing to win is where the determination that you will win is made. Once the game or test or project is underway, it is too late to prepare to win. The actual game, the test or project is actually just the end of a long process that is getting ready in which the outcome is already determined. So if you want to win, you must prepare to win. Once you prepare to win, winning is almost anticlimactic. So winning is in all of us. Winners don't necessarily think normal. Everyone says think outside the box, but there is really no box when you start out on a new journey or set out new goals for yourself. And when you are in the chase for greatness, the chase to win, the ability to block out the noise, your head has to be in it. And the only things you have are the things that are most important to you. That's what winning is really all about. That's the only, the only things that you really hear inside your head. You only hear the things that are most important to you. And every single day you have the opportunity to win. And when you see those wins and capture those wins, day after day, week after week, they bring you a, a little bit closer to what is next, to what is to come. You know, you're working towards a goal that you know, means so much to you. But most people don't want to get in the race to begin with, and that's okay. Not everyone is meant to be in the race to begin with. And winning is also a noble thing. It inspires others to be better themselves. When you win, when you personally win, or achieve a win, or success, or whatever you want to call it, someone else is going to win because of that. And in order to win, your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. When your feelings win, your decisions typically suffer from that as a result of it. And when you remove emotions, you can fast track that winning. You know, think back to a time when you let you know, emotions guide your, your decision process or decision making. Was it, was it really the best decision that you ended up making? Um, because for me personally, I know that oftentimes not necessarily. So I want to talk a little bit about losing. So the fear of losing, of not playing, of what happens if, in my experience, has been the detriment to my own goals and aspirations. If you want to win, if you want to hit a home run, you have to walk yourself up to that batter's box and face that pitch, face that unknown that comes from trying to win. There's always a little bit of fear. There's always going to be that underlying, unknown, unsurety, and you know, what's gonna happen. But there should never be any doubt, disbelief in yourself, or your abilities for that matter. And when you don't have any doubt, it keeps your emotions under control. And you keep going and going and going. However, you need that fear because it pushes you beyond what you would normally push yourself in. A circumstance that you normally, typically wouldn't place yourself in because it, it still instills a certain amount of fear in you. But you need that to grow, to be a different person, to become someone that you're meant to become, to, that you're supposed to grow into. And that fear, it gets you to move. The fear of not going for it, not walking up to that batter's box, stepping up to the plate, not doing and becoming more each and every day as you grow up. And that thought of what you leave behind and how much growth you still have, that's what really propels you to do it, to go for it, to face that fear, face the unknown. And the person you become when you start to pile up these wins, 
you know, I become a champion because that's what champions. I don't know what the word is. Um, comprise of? Yeah. So, you know, champions win. And the thing is, champions systematize the whole process of winning. So it goes back to that quote by Bobby Knight that I mentioned at the beginning of the episode. So, you don't just show up on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, talking about sports, you know, if you have a football game or something like that, you just show up and you win, like that. You know, winning's a process. It's preparing to win that you actually win because of that. Just to wrap this short episode up, uh, for me, I've really taken this, you know, abstract concept, if you will, to growing into success and winning and it made it very tangible for me. And what works for me is, you know, I write down on my phone in the notes app, five things, I call it the power list. I've spoke about it before in a couple of my prior episodes. Um, and I have simple, they're simple, you know, simple things, but they're, they're things that kind of scare me or like things that I wouldn't remember to do that I'm trying to form into habits. And you know, I cross them off after every time I do them, I bold them. So, and if I do everything that I had for the day, then I put a W at the top of the page and I keep track of my record. So, you know, it's a reminder to me and the only one that's gonna know that if I didn't do it, it's on me. And that's what helps keep me accountable to myself. You know, I'm not trying to be accountable to someone else. I don't need that. I just need to be accountable to myself. I need to hold myself to a high standard. And I always need to raise the bar, I need to level up from the prior day. And the way that I do that is when things become habits, you know, slowly but surely, or I don't need to be reminded of it to do it, I put something new on that power list to replace that, that has now become a habit, um, you know, what was there before. And I replace it with something that's now, because I've evolved as a person, I'm a, I'm a better person than I was yesterday, last week, last month, that I now have the habit of doing what scared me before doesn't scare me now. I replace it with something that's a little bit more out of my comfort zone and so on and so forth. And so that for me has helped me fall in love with the process of preparing to win and going for it and not being afraid of failure or fear. You know, there's always gonna be fear, but there's never any doubt. It's all about being confident in yourself, in your abilities, who you are as a person, and you're not gonna change that ever for anyone, you know, regardless of whatever situation you find yourself in. So. That's all I got for this episode. Hopefully you got some value from it. And it's always what I'm trying to give out. And that's why I really find a lot of purpose and fulfillment from making these videos. So yeah, hope you guys found some value from it. And I love you guys so much. Can't wait to just you know, continue making these. And um, I hope you guys continue listening. So love you guys so much. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Peace. Thank you.